The board of directors of a nonprofit organization has legal responsibility for the organization's work. And one of the most critical roles they play is to ensure you're managing the financial resources of your organization as well as you possibly can. Board members often wonder how to fulfill this responsibility. One important step is to have appropriate financial information. Remember, the quality of financial decisions is directly related to the quality of the financial information. The board should regularly review the income statement, balance sheet, and budget. Once a year, they should review the annual financial report, audit report, and IRS 990 information. These reports are standard, but they don't always provide a clear picture of financial health or the capacity of the organization. Many times, the board of directors doesn't get the right information for the role they need to fulfill. That role could be compliance, but it can also be evaluation, planning, or to take action. These four roles determine use and are the most common reasons boards need financial information. Getting the right information to the board requires planning. In order to monitor financial compliance, your board needs to understand how financial resources have been received and used. They'll need to review historical information. These are typically the kind of financial reports we just mentioned. In order to play an evaluation role, your board needs to assess how well you use your financial resources. That means they'll need to compare the budget with actual expenses, peer benchmarks, or other goals or plans. When the board is engaged in planning, they're looking at what's next. It may mean developing strategic plans and budgets. They'll require financial reports customized and created for that purpose, maybe forecasts, revenue opportunities, etc. Focus on providing them with trend analysis of primary income and expense categories for one to three years. Provide them with information on external factors and the financial implications of new programs or management decisions. And give them multiple budget scenarios based on different options. There is no one size fits all. Purpose determines information needed. When action is required by the board, it's important that they have the kind of details or projections needed to make a decision. For example, before deciding on a building purchase, the board will need specific financial information and multiple scenarios based on the different options. At times, it may be appropriate to provide additional information to your board, such as cash flow projections, forecasts or periodic updates to the budget, new budgets, specialized budgets for capital projects, or major new initiatives. In times of financial difficulty or crisis, you'll also need to provide more detailed information, report more frequently, update forecasts and track against plans, and manage cash flow vigilantly. In order to do their best work, boards need the right financial information. Invest some time in creating report formats for the board so you can all share an understanding of how financial reporting takes place in your organization. Use summary categories for income and expenses to enable the board to focus on the big picture for decision making. Provide a brief narrative along with financial reports. And be sure to offer training to every board member on reading and using financial reports.